Hi everyone, and happy Throwback Thursday! I'm back with you again today to share another piece of history from the collection at Thistle Cottage. Today's featured items come from one of our most notable Muhlenberg County residents. It's no secret that Muhlenberg County has a rich musical history, and one of the influential, talented artists that called Muhlenberg County home was country musician Merle Travis. Here, I have one of Merle Travis's guitars. Travis was known for his unique style of playing, often called Travis picking, or more broadly, thumb picking, which was inspired by other Western Kentucky musicians, including Arnold Schultz, Kennedy Jones, Ike Everly, and Mose Rager. Merle Travis, in turn, is credited as an inspiration by many of his contemporaries as well as later musicians. He wrote the classic coal mining tune 16 Tons, which later became a number one hit for his friend, Tennessee Ernie Ford, and also counted fellow country stars Grandpa Jones, Doc Watson, Chet Atkins, Johnny Cash, and more among his friends. In fact, Doc Watson and Chet Atkins both named their children Merle. Other well-known musicians, including James Taylor, John Lennon, Marty Stewart, John Prine, and Tommy Emanuel, have also emulated Travis's style in their own work. Merle Travis was inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1970 and the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1977. This particular instrument, which is housed at Thistle Cottage, is a 12-string Takaman brand acoustic guitar. Travis played this guitar on his last solo album, 1981's Rough, Rowdy, and Blue. Travis used both acoustic and electric guitars in his music, although Travis picking is usually done on acoustic. He even designed a solid body electric guitar that is believed to have been the inspiration for the world famous Fender Telecaster guitar. Travis's original version of his guitar, which was built by his friend, legendary guitar builder Paul Bigsby in 1948, is now at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. The collection at Thistle Cottage also includes this so-called nudie suit worn by Travis during an appearance at the Grand Ole Opry. Nudie suits, despite their attention-grabbing nickname, are in fact typically appropriate for audiences of all ages. The name comes from famous Taylor to the Stars, Nuda Nudie Cone. Cone was known for flashy, ostentatious, western-themed apparel decorated with themed embroidery and copious use of rhinestones. And as you can see, Travis's suit is no different. Along with Merle Travis, Nudie Cone's customers included Elton John, Elvis Presley, Robert Redford, and numerous country stars. Merle Travis died in 1983, but his legacy lives on. Several audio and video recordings were released posthumously, and his birthday is celebrated each fall by the Muhlenberg County Thumbpickers. A special 100th anniversary celebration was also held in Nashville two years ago in Travis's honor. Of course, he's also the inspiration for the naming of the Merle Travis Music Center, a state-of-the-art entertainment venue in Powderly, and his childhood home can be seen at neighboring Paradise Park. For a closer look at the Merle Travis collection at Thistle Cottage, you can visit the museum once it reopens. Travis is also memorialized at the Merle Travis Monument at Ebenezer and the Four Legends Fountain in Drakesboro, both of which are outdoors and are easily accessible to the public. More information about Merle Travis and other Muhlenberg County musicians is also available at the Muhlenberg County Music Museum in Central City and at the Merle Travis Music Center in Paradise Park in Powderly when those facilities are open. That's all we have for today. This little cottage currently remains closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, so we appreciate you letting us connect with you all through these videos. We are tremendously honored to house these and more wonderful items at our museum. Thank you for watching and have a great week.